What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here at the property with my dad, John Leachman. Um, we're gonna be out here today working on his bees, setting up a place for a new hive as the upcoming season is on the way. And we're gonna be checking our bees, opening up the box, making sure that they're still alive. We haven't checked them all winter and some a few other things around the property. So we're gonna head up now to where the beehives are at and uh, we'll catch up with you there. Right, we made it up here to where our hive is at now. I'm going to flip the camera on and show you guys what we're about to do. All right, so as you can see, like I said, we made it up here to where our current hive is at. We've got the a Honey Super with us and a Queen Excluder. We're going to put that stuff on our old hive today. And we're also going to set up a spot over here next to our old hive for the new hive that we're going to be setting up this upcoming spring. And so we're going to go ahead and set the camera up. And the first thing we're going to do is level off a couple of concrete blocks over here for the second hive. And then after that, we'll break into our old box and see how our bees are doing. So just stay tuned. all right so we've got a block set up here for our second hive our first hive was two blocks high but we're going to put our super on and it actually was making it a little higher than it was for us to work in and really it just needs to be high enough so water doesn't get into the box so this next hive is only going to be one block high rather than two blocks high as you can see we've got it decently level it's good enough for a bee box so we're gonna go ahead and uh, break into this box now we're gonna get geared up and break into this box and see how these bees are doing so All right, so. Nowhere near as many bees as we had before. Can you hold this smoker for me, Lou? Yes, sir. All right, let's go and get rid of this old feeder thing they didn't eat this winter. We got plenty of pollen flowing. Still got molded anyway. See, there's still a few in there. When we started out, how many bees do you think we had in this hive? Oh, 20 or 30,000 maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. You know, we're junior beekeepers. I'm sure these hive beetle traps. smoke them a little bit, but I'm sure these hive beetle traps are full now, too. Oh, yeah. We got some new traps we're going to put in there as well. Try to stand over here where I'm out of the light. There's lots of honey in here, it looks like. I think they're all gathered over here in this corner. You have to be careful with these things because of the oil that's in them will kill the bees. Yeah, these things, have, what is what is it that's in these uh, traps? Ve vegetable oil and uh, uh, apple cider vinegar. You see, they work. Lots of bees in apple there. Apple cider vinegar attracts the bees. I mean, the, the beetles. The beetles. Let's see here. Nin, nin. Go ahead. This frame's full of honey. See right here? It's almost full of honey, but it's got a lot of honey in it. Well, at least we know they're not going hungry anyway. Uh, of course, we were going to leave this honey here for them to feed off of and not. This is theirs anyway. So this was partially full of honey. Was it? It was the center. I think the centers were full last time. We check. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look and see here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see that? Lots of honey. Dripping honey. It is dripping honey. <laughs> so, 
That right there is called a, uh, it's where they're building a uh, place to grow a new queen. Uh, well, they call it queen cell or yeah, something. So. You guys that may be advanced beekeepers or have some tips and tricks for us, please let us know. Because there's a lot of honey right there. It's just uncapped. It's not full. Concerning pieces, we're not seeing any brood. Same thing there. Lots of uncapped Yeah, honey. lots of honey. Just... That's only a handful of bees in this whole hive. I worry the queen is... No longer here. Maybe it didn't make it. I don't know. Oh, here they are. You can shine down in there, buddy. Right down in there, you see it. Maybe you guys can see that. I don't know how good the lighting is. Yeah, there's a few bees. Not very many. There's a big beetle right there. Where did it fall down? I think it fell down in the hive. There's a few bees there. Working. Yeah, it looks like they've got some... There might be some brood right there. See down in those holes? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there may be some places. Like they're trying to come back. not as nearly as healthy as you'd want it to be that's for sure we need to clean some of that off i guess when there's more bees they try to keep it clean themselves don't they yeah they keep it they keep it really clean there's a few more bees on this uh several more bees on this one yeah there's some brood right there see well, that's good signs there you see here it's covered up all this stuff here is the brood he's talking about and this is where they have eggs, correct? Well, there's some trying to, there's some, see that little hole right there? Is that where they're hatching out. out? If you get closer and zoom in, you can probably see his little paw sticking. Explain to him exactly what this brood is here. Huh? Well, there's ants in there. That's probably part of the problem. Well, there's one coming out. See, it's hatching out right there. See his head sticking out? I can't. Oh, right there underneath. Right here. Oh, yeah, that's neat. Yeah, it's really neat. I can get that in the light. I, I'm not going to touch it. I don't have my gloves on, but... It's right there. He's, he's, eating, his, he's eating his, eating way, his out. way out of the... You guys may have been able to see that. I don't know, but... I'd say your queen is in here somewhere. Yeah, we'll... See we'll, if we can find her. Right, right there she is. Right there she is. Right, right there she is. That's her, yeah. So there's the queen. Yeah. See, she's much longer than the rest of these. That's really good. So maybe here in the next couple of weeks, as it warms up, she'll be laying more eggs and... Our beehive will start to grow again. Be careful over here. Don't want to squish any here. Well, that's encouraging. We were very sort of fearful that the queen either didn't make it or that the bees had swarmed, but this is all good. They've eaten their way through that, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the smallest amount of bees I've ever seen in here. At least we know she's still here, though. Let's sort of smoke them a little bit. We we'll smoke them a little bit, and then we'll pull this. We're going to get into the second, the other box? Yeah, we'll see if there's anything. There may not be anything in that other box. Okay, well, I'm going to turn the camera off for just a second here while we get this box off of the top, and then I'll resume, turn the camera back on whenever we start tearing open the bottom box. So just stay tuned. All right, so we're back into the bottom, bottom box here. As you can see, he's sort of cleaning up. I want to remove these hive beetle traps. You got four traps, or you only have two traps? So they're I only all brought two, so we'll put one full. down here and one in the top box. I guess with the warmer weather, though, we can start tearing apart more often. Yeah, we can. This is the first time we've did it in how many months, you think? Well, we opened them in December, I think, once. Yeah, so Look at and that it's one. March now, but that's just covered up in beetles, beetles. and such. There's nowhere, it's not as active as the top box, but see, there's a few over here in the corner. I don't know what all down in there we'll have to see yeah this box is where they were you know this was your original box wasn't it yeah this is where i brought them in this box when do you think you bought them last year do you know uh june from a local a guy he there's a little bit of honey in that one there's not much brood so... but yeah there's bees down there look yeah there that must be where they're I don't know, going in and out. Are you going to buy the new hive box from this guy as well? I am. I plan to. Just 
harvest in the next couple of months, There's I guess. nothing there. Yeah. Remember, all of dry. these were full. Yeah, these were full of honey. I hope they can make a comeback. I do, too. Pretty neat. I enjoy looking at them. Let's on, some... I'm going to get rid of that dead bee. It's like a ghost town on the bottom box. It's just completely empty. I don't understand. This is where they were storing that feed I was giving them look during the winter. That those That's pollen, pollen patties and such. Mm -hmm. We did treat these bees for uh, mites. mites, but they're, they still died off. I'm not sure what the deal was. There's a little bit of honey in there. Down there, it's just. And then obviously we have the beetle traps. Well, like I said, if you guys have any idea of maybe what happened or what we can do different in the upcoming season. This one's got more honey in it. Not much, but. That's pollen. Stuff that they'd put up for the winter. Yeah, your top box didn't have anything in it, and now it's the one that's got. There's some yellow pollen. Looks like fresh pollen or something right there. Yeah, or molded or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of different. It's a little beat up looking. What's that down in there? Not much going on. I will want to watch them over the next couple of weeks and see if they start to come off. And you said we're not going to feed them for just for the time being with the pollen and everything I think about got to ramp so much up. Honey in here, but they wouldn't need to eat, you know. And the pollen's flowing. The nectar's going to start flowing here. You called it nectar flow. Is that what you? I think so. There's another. There's a, see, there's one of them big beetles right there. That's a cockroach. So don't, don't want him in there. He down in there. Crack there now. See, this is another uh, queen cell. They might have had trouble with the queen. So that's pollen that they've stored in there. What crazy how these things just do for themselves. That is completely empty. Nothing there. So I don't know. Uh, At least we know the queen's still in the box. Yeah. Lots of trash down in there where they. <laughs> We'll see. We could. We know that she's in that box. If we had our other hive, we could just. Yeah, use we this. could. But I've got a ten frame. We're gonna. So the the next frame, the next hive we're setting up is the ten frame. You said over here on this new stand. Which will just the front or the back. So, so these are eight frame, and then this will be ten frame. I'm not squishing those in the front shine, please. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, we're just gonna put a. Yeah, we, so we're going to get to the high beetle traps now and show you guys what goes in them and how those set and how they go. And so I'll resume the camera whenever we get the traps up here and get that settled in. So, all right. So these high beetle traps are just, you order these on what, Amazon? Just small little plastic containers, I guess you'd call it, with little slits in the top. But the bees can't fit through these holes, but the beetles can. So it works great for trapping these beetles. They get in your honey, right? And they lay feces and stuff like that in your honey, and you obviously don't want that contaminated honey. So we're gonna get these things ready to go here. My dad will tell you a little more about them as we set them up and put them inside of the hive. So just I got a hot, hold one of the traps for me, beetle traps. All right. So this is uh, apple cider vinegar. Let me it's just turn the, a little bit. It's the lure, just regular apple cider vinegar. You just need a little bit of that in there. It smells and it's like a rotten fruit, which obviously attracts bugs. 
And this is just regular vegetable oil. You have to be careful. Vegetable oil will kill the bees. So that's why the, the holes in this are small enough for the beetles to get into. And they're, they're chasing that smell of the vinegar. Vinegar. And then they get their, they get coated in the oil and they can't get out. That's enough. Of course. And what we'll do, you can see it doesn't mix in there well. Like the water bubbles you see, that's the vinegar in there. And that's enough. The beetles go in those holes and they can't get out. They get that oil on, they can't get out. So. And obviously the, the oil can also coat the bees' wings as well. So that's another reason you don't want to get on your bees. So. so we'll put one on this side here. And then what we'll do, we'll keep this, I'll set this other hive back on here. And, and uh, Robert, you look under the bottom, I don't want to kill any bees. All right. So we only have two of these today. So we're going to put one in the bottom, one on the top. That should work. There's a bee that's full of pollen around his legs. I don't know if you can see it. This bee right here. Got a lot of pollen on his back Maybe legs. you guys can see it. I don't know. Yeah, you can, that's a good angle right there. But All right, can I clear you're clear right now. So I tried to clean up their hive a little bit. You know. Help them a little bit along the way. This is the... This is where we saw them at earlier. It'd be nice if we make sure the queen was in there again. Is that her? Dead? No, certainly not. That is her. She's laying an egg. I think. I don't know. I hope that don't look like her. She's bigger than that, wasn't she? I don't know. That might have been her. Hard to tell. Maybe be her. Oh, I hope we didn't damage her. I may pull it back out and inspect it again. Got a little bit of brood there working here. You can look down the bottom. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. You can see the white. Uh, Larva, a little white larva down on the bottom of these holes right here. Kind of hard to see with this, the light the way it is, but... Mm -hmm. That's why they're all swarming over that there. They're trying to build back. I forget, we'll have to read. These tall ones right here are drones, I think. The taller bees? The taller uh, nests. See how that's oh, oh, okay, okay. I think they're called drones. Again, I'm a beginner. I don't know a lot about them. Sort of winging it here. Yeah, I didn't see her. I think that's her. You may want to pull that and we may want to check it again. And she may have been working, like you said. If that's her, she's dead. can help her along there huh I don't believe that's her I don't know that bee looks long if that's her she's dead I believe the one we saw was bigger than that it may have been we're gonna continue here and get this other trap set up and get it uh, put in this box now so i'll resume the video in just a moment okay we're gonna put our second hive beetle trap together again this is apple cider vinegar just put enough in there to smell it doesn't take much like a rotten fruit smell it attracts bugs hive beetles and then this is vegetable oil it's the actual trap so just needs enough in there to get on the beetles you can see it separates in there obviously but well, once it's on them they can't get out so We'll put this one in the top five. Sort of here. Maybe. Anyway. Now what we'll do is put our honey super on. So we're gonna put our queen excluder. What this does is keeps the queen from being able to get to the top. The queen's a lot bigger. We hope she's still in there. We saw her earlier, but uh, this queen excluder, you notice the grates are really small and tight. Close Worker bees can flit, fit through there. 
but it keeps the queen from laying queen eggs. Get up there and lay eggs, and, and that's for well, everything from here below is the bees, and we won't rob it. And everything here up is ours. That's what we'll, we'll rob from the super here only. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this super up a little bit. This is where we had the super on last year, and a little bit of food on it near the end. We put it on too late. We put it on during the winter, but see, these are plastic. Yeah, um, you, hives here. You that, can clean against them where the others are all wax. That makes sense. And these bees, is, if, if they're healthy enough, they'll clean this hive up. Uh, they'll be able to make a comeback, so. We hope so. See that wax. But we'll definitely be making more content, keeping you guys updated on this yeah. as we go anyways. We hope to in a few weeks to have a second hive out here. To go on the foundation that we laid earlier. This is an eight frame. I'm going to put up a 10 frame. Watch out now. That's a yellow jacket or something anyways. <laughs> See how tall it is? It really needs to be one block. And that's why we set this one up and for the next one. Bad. But if you, some, you know, you could put two supers and it'd be too high to work. So like I said, we'll be making another video here in a few weeks of us setting up the new box. And there'll be plenty of more bee beekeeping content as we go along and learn. Um, learn with us, comment, tell us. Give us some tricks, what tips, we'll whatever, more. advice. But if you guys sort of enjoyed this today, sort of taking it apart and showing you guys how our box is and the condition that it's in, pretty rough winter. Like I said, new to all this, but go with us as we learn. Just stay tuned. All right, so that's gonna conclude the video for today. Like I said, stay tuned. There'll be plenty more content like this to come. In the next couple of weeks, we're gonna tear into this box again and check on their condition. We'll film it, keep you guys updated. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.